Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to clean your Windows 10 or 11 PC with CC Cleaner. Please make sure to watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on important information and to not make any mistakes. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video, shall we? Alright guys, open up CC Cleaner on your PC or laptop. Alright guys, this tutorial is for CC Cleaner for home use only, so please take note of that. So now the first step here, you want to click on the health check, and then you want to scan your PC. So you want to tune up and update your PC so it runs faster. Health check helps you to analyze your device and recommend fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on scan PC. And if you've got any program running, you want to close all of your programs to make this scan happen. And be effective so I'm going to go ahead and click on close these programs and run this scanner now, as you can see I've just started this scan I've closed the programs and it's going to take a few moments to scan my PC so I'm going to pause this video and get back to you once that is done and now from here I'm going to click on clean it's going to delete websites data to stop sharing your preference and login information I'm going to clean my cookies browsing history and temp internet files so I'm going to go ahead and click on clean. You can see 4.43 gigabytes can be cleaned. Click on that button. I'm going to close this program again. All right, I'm going to give this a few moments for that to do the clean. All right, here's the result. So 5,500 items have been cleaned, etc. for browsing history and temporary internet files. So 12.38 gigabytes was cleaned. So next, reclaim your disk space back from temporary interfiles and resolve other issues. So now you want to click on to next here. And then you want to clean all of this stuff here. It says 560 megabytes can be cleaned. So I'm going to click on clean. It's going to make the PC run a lot quicker doing, and doing so. Now I'm going to click on to next again. So now, as it says here on my PC, five issues can be resolved. Enhance your PC speed and security by addressing these issues. So if I go ahead and click on upgrade to resolve, what it will do, it will take me to purchasing CC Cleanup, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go click skip for now. And then after that, you'll say your PC's health check is completed. Select the cleaning schedule to maintain a better performance. So you can set up weekly schedules to clean your PC automatically. So you don't have to worry about doing this. Or if you want to keep it manual, don't set any schedules, okay? And now the next step to using CC Cleaner is to click on to custom clean here. All right, guys, these are my settings when I do a CC clean on my PC. So for Edge, I have these settings Enabled Internet Explorer, the same here. Windows Explorer, when I have recent documents run, other Explorer, MIUs, etc. System, I want to empty recycle bin, temp files, clipboard, memory dumps, window log files, web cache, etc. So have it something similar set to this. You can also add more to these preferences when you run your cleaner. Um, I recommend not having saved passwords highlighted because the reason if you have save hi passwords highlighted once you run your pc you'll lose all those save passwords in those different apps or different um, browsers you are using and if i go over the applications there's more there's another tab here so i've got this these ones clicked in opera google chrome windows store yeah so these are my basic things I have checked when I run my PC or CC cleaner sorry and again for um, Google Chrome I don't have saved passwords checked etc so what I'm going to do I'm going to run this cleaner now and give this a few moments to complete so I'll pause this video and get back to you All right, as it says here window needs to be closed so I'm going to close this alright once your PC has finished running the cleaner it will give you a report card here so as you can see, cleaning complete, 86.2 megabyte removed, took 14 seconds. And you can see where the files have been deleted from and the kilobytes. You can also click on to analyze. And it will analyze your system as well. 
I'm going to close that. All right, once you've finished your custom clean, we want to move on over to the registry clean. So we're going to click on scan for issues inside your registry. So I'm going to click on that. I've, I haven't done this for a long time, so this could take a few moments to scan. So I'm going to pause this video and get back to you. All right, it completed quicker than I expected. So I'm going to click on review selected issues here. And then it says here, do you want to back up the registry before making changes? You can back it up if you want to, but I never do. So I'm going to click on no. All right, as you can see, there's 513 issues here. So from here, I'm going to click on fix all selected issues. And then I'm going to click on close. And now those issues have been fixed. All right, the next step inside CC Cleaner is to head on over to Tools. And now you've got the first tab here, it says Uninstall. So if there's any unwanted programs that you don't want on your PC, just simply click on it and then uninstall. So you can do that. If you go to Software Updater, you can update your software because I have all these software. So five software updates are ready to be installed. So you can update your software here as well. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you these settings. Startup, you can see what's running in your startup. And if you want to disable anything in your startup, some pop-ups or some programs might be started up which can be quite annoying if you don't want them to show up when you start up your PC so for example if I don't want X mouse button control to be running as soon as my PC starts up I'm going to go click on disable so I'm going to see as, it, as it's been disabled enabled no it's a cool little um, section here inside CC cleaner you can browse plugins Disk Analyze, you can analyze your disks here. Duplicate Finder, this is quite a handy tool to get rid of any duplicate files on your PC. So I might even do a run here. I'm going to click on search to see if there's any duplicate files. As you can see, it, there's a fair few here. So it's searching for duplicate files. I'm going to let this run, pause this video and get back to you and see how many... Oh, no, it's done. File search has been completed. So I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to click on delete selected, delete all my duplicates. So when you do delete these selected, you need to highlight them too. So I need to go click that and then click delete selected to delete any duplicate files that you find in here that shouldn't be duplicated. But be mindful, you don't want to, there's a lot of different program files inside here that you don't want to delete as well so if you're not sure what to do in here I wouldn't touch this section here but you can have a quick look manually and find any duplicate files that you like to de delete and go ahead and do that all right the next option here is system restore so you can um, manage all your system restore points from here and then you can do drive wiper as well so if you want to wipe your drive you can wipe it here but be mindful, you need to know what you're doing in this side, this section as well. But yeah, the main thing I use in CC Cleaner is do the health check. So I'll do a run here and then do a custom clean using these settings, etc. And then registry, I'll do a clean here. So there are three main things that I, I normally do when I run my CC Cleaner to speed up my PC and make it faster. All right, that's it for this video guys thanks for watching to the very end please consider to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you found it was helpful